Hi there, welcome back to Utopia Cubed. Oh yeah guys, I am on the server and there is loads of people on. Look at all that, loads of people. So today, um, I want to move out of my spawn house. I think that's probably the best thing to do and I think that's what we're gonna do. So there, in your face. <laughs> um, I have an idea for a build that I wanna do and I have a really good idea for something I want to do after the build. Because um, the build won't be done straight away. I just want to start it and then I have to finish it another day. But let's have a look around quickly. Uh, my, my tree has grown if we haven't seen that already. So let's go check out my shop quotes. Um, oh cool, 16 iron, nice. So somebody obviously used it. I don't know who of course. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple of things around. I'm not sure if there's anything new around, really. Raccoon is over there in his base. Um, this is meant to be for food. I think there's lots of food in here. I think you guys probably know better than I would. There is, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so I have a place that I want to build this thing that I want to build. Um, and there's Raccoon there. Oh, break his glass. And yeah, I'm pretty much, I don't really have many blocks to build it with. So I don't really know what I'm going to build it with just yet. I know I'm going to need a lot of glass and I've no sand. So, oh, actually, somebody told me that you could break cobble using the hammer. No. How about the hammer machine? Oh, cool. Loads of iron in there. That does hammer it into gravel. But it doesn't go into sand. Yeah. No, it doesn't go into sand. So that's it's not really any use to me, I'm afraid. Although if I need gravel, that's definitely a way to get it. So, I do need some sand. I'm sure there's ways of making it. But um, I'll probably go harvest some at some point from a beach or somewhere. I think someone just found a mini beach. Mini desert or dessert, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to head off. I'm going to show you. Well, no, I'm going to go to where we're going first. And then I'll show you. Um, I probably need a couple more torches and I'll definitely need some more wood. Let's bring some of this. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I have 21 steel, so that's pretty cool as well. Let's bring some of this silver wood. Because it could be cool. Uh, let's bring some oak wood as well. I think that's all we really need. You know, what would be an idea as well is possibly to start a farm in this new place. So that we'll have potatoes. Um, so I can cook more potatoes. Yay! So I'll probably do that as well. I have a bucket. And I will bring a saw maybe? No. Oh, let's bring some saplings as well. Um, we, we will move some or most of this stuff over as well. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to head off now. I have some boats because we're going to need a boat and glitchy as hell. So let's go. And here we are. Yes, that's right. It's a mushroom biome. A mushroom island biome either. So I'm thinking of settling basically on this island and possibly having a bridge over to this island. And we'll have probably farms and stuff over here. So we can make a bridge from here over to here. I think that could be cool. But the main building will be here. And you can see there's an oil um, thing over there. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I do want to... I don't really like mycelium. I think it looks horrible. So I want to replace it with probably dirt for now until I can find something silk touchy um, and then with grass eventually and have it all grass because it's the biome that determines no mob spawning which is good because it's just about to get dark here uh, oh yeah look at that F7 doesn't show up mob spawning that's pretty cool but if we take out mycelium 
Oh, I'm gonna have to remove all of this, aren't I? Uh, whole world work, isn't it? That's how people normally do it. Oh, no. Oh, how laggy. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people on. Cool. So I'm gonna do a bit of terraforming here. Uh, I'm gonna take out these mushrooms. Wow, that really, really is a fast axe with mushrooms. Um, take out the mushrooms. I'm gonna flatten it out a bit. I need a fairly big space to build what I wanna build. We can build it on the mycelium for now. Um, I will probably start make, uh, make a small little farm as well. And yeah, then I'll come back just before I start building. I'll have it marked out and I will start. So back in a sec. So I'm just setting up my farm here and I noticed something um, while I was setting it up. And I'm sorry the frame rate is a bit low at the moment, but I have F7 up. Uh, if you look down here, there's some spawnable spots. And if I just creep over to here and hit F3, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> Let's uh, hit F3 without hitting shift. You can see I'm in a deep ocean biome. And of course, mobs will spawn on those. So I'm gonna have to chop away those bits there, um, probably, uh, so that everything doesn't spawn on there. But yeah, no, uh, just, we'll turn off F7 now. I just pressed it twice. That should increase the frame rate a bit. Yeah. The rest of this is just plain old lag. Um, my connection to the server doesn't look great. Three bars, and I hate the fact that that thing breaks so easily. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves another one. Uh, we'll just make another vanilla one, sure. Why not? Because we've loads of cobblestone. Well, no we don't. We will definitely not have enough. Oh, time to farm. Right, so uh, I'm gonna just plant p potatoes here so that we'll just have a supply of food on this island until we get up and running properly uh, when we're gonna have loads of automated farms doing this. Actually, they might not be on this island. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'm gonna just plant stuff and then get set up for the building that I want to build. Okay, so I have the basic structure kind of laid out here. Um, actually, I'm thinking I might move it this way a bit. Yeah, it might make more sense to move it up just probably about two or three blocks. And it's kind of big. I might make it slightly smaller. Yeah, okay. It's definitely a bit big probably make it a bit smaller as well. I started terraforming it to make it, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, no, this is a bit big. So I'll take down most of this again and um, lay it out again and we'll see and we'll start building it up. Again though, I have absolutely no glass and I'm gonna need a ton of glass for it. But uh, you'll get the basic idea of what I'm trying to do anyway. Okay, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, it is night, it is raining, it's awful out, um, but I've marked out the building now, and I think this size is probably a lot better. Um, I can I can still use my design, I'm just gonna probably decrease the window space a bit, which is perfect because, well, we're using a lot of windows anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, this is gonna be the main entrance here. We're gonna use this brick, I think, for the floor. For now, I, I kind of want to upgrade it to marble, but I have no marble. So eventually we we'll probably will have marble, so that's probably going to be good. Uh, and it's going to have a bit of a porch coming out as well. And uh, yeah, so we'll have just walls like this probably coming out as well. Um, I'm using this kind of for the wall, the main one, and we're going to also have a detail kind of brick as well, which is going to be just a completely different color, but um... So that's going to be the door there. And we'll have the same thing here. And the inside, each floor, because there will be more than one floor, is going to be three high inside and then have a roof and a floor. So there's going to be two blocks, which should have enough room then for kind of putting stuff around the place. And we're gonna have 
Just the corner is three high as well. There we go. And right here is going to be a windows. It's going to be full floor here, windows. Not the operating system. We're just going to have windows there, not the operating system. <laughs> and since it's going to be glass, we'll put some bricks down there as well. So all the inside here is going to be bricks. And I'm going to just start building up the walls and stuff here. And um, hopefully we'll be back in a couple of minutes with most of the ground floor done or as much cobblestone as it lets me do so i'll be back in two seconds So I am just making stairs up to the next floor now, um, and I'm just using this silver wood at the moment, not at all super expensive or anything. Uh, so we're kind of just making our way up, and we're going to snake around here, and probably put some more stairs there. Of course I have to use micro blocks for these because there is no silver wood um, stair stuff. Uh, so this glass area here will probably not be looking at very much at all. Um, yeah, pretty much we'll just make this stone here and you'll look at stone and it's going to be horrible. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that should be fine. Do we want to, no, we want to do this and then we want to do this. Because that's going to curve around again, and we'll put wood in there as well, and also there. And that will be the first block on the next floor. Or the ceiling. No, that's the floor. Uh, so we can put that there. That there. And there's the steps up. Now, the reason why I was doing that was so I could actually get up here and start putting blocks down here. Which is what we want to do. So we want a layer of stone around. Uh, to show the floor level. Or sorry, this is the ceiling level. And um, yeah. Cool. So we're filling this whole thing with probably this brick. Um, I'm not sure I want that to be wood though. But yeah, okay, let me play around with this a bit more, and we'll be back. And I am out of cobble. Okay, uh, so you can see I'm building up the second floor here. That's as many floors as I'm going to put on this for now anyway. But it's looking a bit crappy outside, and that's because it's going to have a bit of flare in here. And I'm just going to use this silver wood for the moment to put it in. Because I don't actually want it to be white. I want it to be something, some other color. Um, green or red or something like that. Or blue maybe. Um, so it's going to have kind of flare coming across like this. To kind of give it some depth. And we'll go all the way up here. No, we'll keep going around, sorry. And we'll go as far as here. And then we'll go straight up. And then here as well. Kind of like this. Um, so it should give it a bit of depth. And I don't know why I'm doing this because this stuff actually takes ages to mine. Oh no, it was just the micro parts taking ages to mine. So yeah. And that will come along here along the side. If I don't miss... Last one out, and back around here, and it will curve up as well here. And almost exactly the perfect amount. Cool, so... Obviously I'm gonna need to go get more cobble, 
But yeah, and there could be glass there. I'm thinking some sort of blue glass as well. But then I don't want this tr trim to be blue. I might experiment with some colors off camera. Um, just to see. But yeah, this is going to be my base. And now the cool thing about this, and that's the bit that kind of is the cool thing for me, um, has yet to come. I kind of want to put an elevator in here or a water drop as well. I have no ender pearls though. But yeah, we're going to have a good space to work with. We'll have multiple floors. And hopefully it will look cool. As long as I put some sort of nice trim on it. Uh, I'll experiment with some different tri uh, trims. I don't know which ones are going to be the best because... This is someone else's design, obviously, because I can't design for crap. Um, uh, the person is linked to in the description as well, the original design, which is a vanilla design, of course. Uh, and I was just using wool and stuff, so... I'm probably going to change it up a bit. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be the building. This is going to be my house island, and I'll probably have some farms over there. But of course, we will be moving, probably moving something to a void age soon um, and on that note I want to just let you in on a little thing we're gonna be at the moment we're doing two of these episodes a week and then two Beaver tech pack and that's kind of it at the moment uh, I'm gonna be adding a th another episode a fifth episode in and it's gonna be on this server but it won't be this series there's gonna be a sub series starting and uh, you'll find out more about that next week, hopefully. So, guys, um, I'm going to leave it there for now because I've got a bit of off work to do. I have to go back to spawn, get more cobble, probably bring over some of my chests as well. And think about what I want to do this trim and interior in. And, uh, yeah, so, guys, I will see you later. Later.